Is a miter saw something you need when setting up a brand new woodworking shop? No. If your interest is strictly doing woodworking projects, then get a table saw because there's nothing you can do on a miter saw that can't be done on a table saw. But as a homeowner who's going to be doing lots of home improvement and repair projects, it's really handy to have a miter saw. It's often used in rough construction for say cutting posts or pieces for a fence or a lattice. For something like a two by four, it's easy to just chop it into pieces. It's simple and quick to make those cuts. All you do is take your board, line it up again Against your fence. A couple of things to keep in mind is, of course, keep your hands well away from the blade. And the second thing is to make sure that the blade is running at its full speed before you bring it down onto the board. And when you do bring it down onto the board, cut through slowly. And that makes it really easy to cut all sorts of materials. I use it for cutting electrical conduit, as well as PVC and plumbing drain pipe. But of course the reason why it's called a miter saw is because you can make miter cuts in it. In other words, you can pivot the saw to various angles. My saw has the ability to make angle cuts either direction and it's got markings to show you what angle to set it at. Most of them will lock in place at 45, which is your most common angle. And that's really handy for installing cove molding and ceiling trim and of course making picture frames. Some miter saws like this one are called compound miter saws because they also allow you to tilt the blade. But if you're considering buying a miter saw, I would save your money and not get a compound miter saw. It's just a feature that most of us won't be needing. I've had this saw for about 13 years and I think I've had to tilt the blade maybe twice. Another consideration is the size of the saw itself. This is a 12 inch miter saw, which is really more than I need. I rarely cut a board that's this wide. I would save money and get a 10 inch miter saw if I was gonna do this again. Plus the blades, on a 10 inch miter saw are much cheaper. Now of course this is just a very brief overview of the miter saw. There are a lot of other features to a miter saw and there's a lot of different types of miter saws including a sliding miter saw which will let you cut wider boards. So my recommendation is for a 10 inch non-compound miter saw. You'll be surprised how many uses you'll find for it around the house.